Hello, welcome back to my farmhouse sewing room. I'm Marne, and today I would like to talk to you about color and putting color together out of like your scraps um, or when you're piecing and how to match things up, even though they are not from the same um, maker of your fabric or your fabric bundles. Um, uh, show you this quote behind me. Um, this is kind of an example of color and in different um, prints that are not by the same makers. So um, I went to the quilt shop and I got this dog fabric here and it has a lot of color in it. So that is my main fabric. Um, so my main fabric, I wanted to pull all of these colors out of it. And I only had maybe like a half a yard, or I don't even think I had a yard, I think it was like a half a yard. So I just cut them up into blocks. And I had a lot of these boutiques that really, um, that match the colors in this because it has like that watercolor look to it. So I did almost like a half of log cabin square. This is just something I kind of threw together just because I was having fun with it. So I did um, these three boutiques and I didn't actually have enough. I ran out of fabric. So you know, when you don't have a lot um, of fabrics, you can improvise and and pull out other colors. So I had other colors of orange uh, batiks that I threw in here. And some of these were matching, you know, on the top. I don't think I threw anything else. I think I just ran out of the orange. So that was the extra color that I threw in there. And then I wanted something to border. So I found these um, hearts and footprint dog prints, footprints, dog prints, you know, um, to put in here because they had a lot of the watercolor too. And I found that at Joanne. And on the batiks I had, I think I found them someplace else. And then the dog fabric was from a quilt shop. And then I just pulled out a salad yellow. So none of these fabrics really go together, but they look great together. So they're really not from the same family or the same, you know, maker or whatever. I just used what I had and you can do this and really make something beautiful. So this is how I um, put this together. I've had this quilt top for a while, but I thought it was a great example for um, showing you uh, color and how to put things together and pull colors out of your main fabric. So, and I did do these little cornerstones in my border of my fabric of my yellow. And I tried to fussy cut out footprints and hearts just to make it really whimsical. I really need to get this, this quilt top quilted. Um, it's been sitting. I've just, I get all over the place and I've got a lot of things going on. So I have some other um, examples of color and how to put things together. Um, I am going to do an upcoming uh, apron video. This was um, a video, I think the, uh, quite a few people were interested in and it's one of the things that I really love to make. So I've got one started and this, well my net, I'm going to give you a sneak peek into my next video anyway, but I got one started and I had a piece of this whimsical little chicken fabric and this was a gift from my friend Lynn <laughs> and there wasn't very much of it, but I knew I wanted to do something special with it and it has a lot of color in it and a lot of color that I can pull out. So what I got into was my stash and I found some of this whole retro vintage um, heart shaped fabric and it had little flowers and it just really pulled out the red in the chickens. So I'm gonna lay this out and I'm gonna really show you what I did with this because it's really interesting. I wanna keep all my stuff out of the way. I've got notes and everything. So I'm gonna open this up because I took the long skinny fabric that I had of the chickens and I cut it into two pieces and this is the length that I need for an apron. So I added this this uh, red with hearts and it's really retro-y and I added on enough on the side on each side and then I put a little strip in the middle because I need my um, apron to be the right width. And then on the bottom I did this really scrappy and I'm trying to get this where you can see it so I'll have to pull it up but I, I do a lot of um, different size blocks out of my scraps. So what I did is I took the chicken colors and I chose the five main colors in the chickens, which was yellow, red, blue, green, and black. And I went into my two inch squares and I pulled out all kinds of these little squares that were yellow, red, green, blue, and black in different shades. And it really makes this apron um, 
very whimsical and colorful and it makes it very interesting so when you pull all these colors together you got your mixture of prints and you got your mixture of prints on your chickens it just really comes together so the chickens i knew was my favorite my my main fabric my favorite fabric <laughs> yes i love chickens but this um really comes together when you pull the colors out of your main fabric and they don't they don't have to be from the same family, the same prints. You just need the colors to pull it together and you can really make something pizzazzy and interesting. So um, this is gonna be a half apron and I am going to um, show you how I put that half apron together in my next video, but I really wanted to give you a heads up. And I really wanted to explain how um, I put things together and how I mix and match colors. So even on this chicken apron, I did the red and I almost did it in a blue. So you can see I have the red hearts here, but I almost, I had a lot of this uh, light blue polka dot and I was gonna use this, but then uh, the more I studied the chickens and they had these cute little hearts, a lot of hearts in the chickens, which I'm gonna show you again. If I can get it up here. Um, there we go. You can kind of see the hearts in the chickens the red vintage fabric with the hearts really goes with it. So that's the one I stuck with. And um, the little squares just really pull all the colors out of the chickens. So it's gonna be a really fun little apron, but I'm gonna show you how we put that together in the next video. I really wanted to explain how I come up with some of these things, because I have a lot of fabrics in my sewing room and um, I, I'm a peacemaker. I like piecing, I like scrappy and I like pulling out colors and making things interesting. I rarely ever make something all one fabric or one color because <laughs> it's boring. <laughs> so um, I got some examples here of another apron and this is the apron that I am making. So if I can get this, I'm far enough back. I'm gonna show you. This is one that I made a couple years ago. This is a half apron and it's gonna be, the chicken apron that I put together is just like this. It's the same pattern. Um, you have a, a waistband, and it ha this one had the scrappy squares on the bottom, but I did this one a little bit different. So in this project, you can see that this is my main fabric, and it had some nice colors in it, the, the teals and the orange and the blue and the grays, and I really wanted to make this an interesting, not boring apron, because <laughs> I love making aprons, and I think they should be pretty. So what I did is I went through my scrap bin and you know my fabrics and I pulled out a teal, a white, a gray, and this peachy color. And I auditioned my fabrics with my main fabric to make sure that they would match. And then I also had a fat quarter in this peachy polka dot, which made a really nice waistband for this apron. And I did, yeah, I did do a decorative stitch on the waistband too to make it really interesting. And I also did a decorative stitch down the side of the apron, if you can see that. I, sometimes I like to play with the stitches in my sewing machine because it's just fun to play. Aprons are really easy to make. There's not, you don't need to put a lot of thought into them. They're not clothes, they're an apron. They're just a cover you up, but you really wanna make them fun, interesting and whimsical and be pretty in the kitchen or in the house or, you know, I really do wanna do some house aprons and things too. And, and I will get to that. I have a pile of fabrics here. I wanted to show you that I've got matched up for um, future aprons. And also, I wanted to tell you that I have some really interesting news. Um, as of yesterday, I did open an Etsy shop. So that is up and coming. And a lot of these things that I make, I'm going to be putting on my Etsy shop. So my Etsy store name is gonna be Farmhouse, yes, Farmhouse by Marnay. <laughs> so if you'd like to check that out, I'm, I only have one item listed on there right now. I'm just getting it up and, and set up and I really need to build an inventory. So give me a little time, but I do want to put a lot of my aprons on there. I think these are really fun and I have, I have a few of them here and I have one that I really want to show you, but I think I should show you in my next video when I work on the half apron because I do do a mix of half aprons and full aprons and I have a really cool surprise in the next video of a full apron that I did. And I haven't really perfected it yet, but it is on my Etsy, uh, Etsy store. And my Etsy store is Farmhouse by Marnay. Really cool. Uh, I really didn't know what to, to come up with the name, but I this is my farmhouse and I build things here and this is what I love. 
So I think I'm going to stick with some farmhousey, you know, fun stuff. So if you want, you can check that out. Um, but I'll get on to my next apron. So sticking to the farmhouse theme, I bought this fabric at Joann's. I love it because I love chickens. I have chickens. And this teal color is really beautiful. So um, while I was at Joann's, I found this black in a smaller print. So it's a smaller scale than the chickens, and it really matches up nice. So I will probably put this in um, another a, a half apron. I want to do a half apron out of this. And I also had some of this. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby, and it was their spring shop or whatever. And it it's like a flat ribbon, but it says, I love you a bushel and a peck. And I thought this would really be cute on maybe the waistband of my uh, chicken apron that I'm going to do after I show you the next one. So that one there is already set to go. And I failed to mention to you too, all of my aprons are lined. Mostly, most of the time I put um, muslin on the back sides of them. So you can see on this one, it is fully lined. And this will probably end up on my Etsy shop. I've had this for a couple of years. And um, most of my aprons hang out on my mannequins here in my sewing room because they're beautiful. And I think they dress up my little dress forms. I just really like the looks of them. I'm obsessed with aprons. And I think they're a really cool thing that, you know, that's coming back. So um, I have some more fabrics here to show you that are fun and interesting. And these are going to become aprons. I've had this um, ticking with carrots and I've had this forever and I don't even remember where I got it, but I've always thought that I wanted to make a full apron out of this and I just haven't gotten around to do it because I am all over the place and I just can't make up my mind what I want to sew. I bounce between projects and, but anyway, so with the carrot fabric, I've got this awesome um, prints and I thought these would be really cool to put on the bib of the apron. And this this ticking um, carrot fabric is is a very heavy, fabric. So this would make a really nice apron, um, like a work apron or, you know, a kitchen apron. I don't know. It's, it's really nice. It's almost like duck fabric. It's really cool. But I have these blocks and they have little different things on them. They have bunnies and I probably have enough fabric there that I could make a couple of really cute, cute aprons. Um, I'm just trying to show you some of the little designs I have here that I could do something really cool to make a really cute apron out of that. And let's see, I also have some more cotton fabric of carrots, <laughs> which is really cute. And um, orange fabric, which would really make a nice uh, tie strap for, for it, you know, and maybe, you know, pull out, I don't know. I'll come up with something. These are just some of the fabrics that I've pulled out that I know that I'm gonna be making some aprons out of. And I wanted to kind of show you how I pull the colors together. Nothing, none of these that really, you know, they're not by the same brands or anything. They're just fabrics that I pull out and I match up together. So here's another interesting one. I, I love coffee and I love anything with coffee designs, but this is a really cute one with the coffee pots and it has some cool colors, you know, the blue, the orange, the yellow, the browns. So I had some um, orange fabric that has the greens and the orange and the and then like a cream color, this would make a nice accent to go with that fabric. And I also had a strip of this like eyelet fabric and I save everything. So I, I found this and I thought this would make a really cute ruffle on the bottom and this would make a really cute half apron because I really don't have a whole lot of the coffee fabric. I think I have a half yard here. So a half a yard would make a perfect um, half apron to, you know, just tie around your waist. But these fabrics, I mean, these are just what I'm pulling out of my, my stash and I'm mixing and matching and auditioning colors together, you know, and I'm really going to come up with something cool. So I just kind of want to give you some ideas. Um, here's another fabric. This was something really cool that I'd found at a yard sale a couple years ago. And this is Pepsi fabric and I've got it upside down, but they got these awesome little retro ladies on it and it's really cool and i also have the coordinating fabric that would go with it with the bottle caps that say pepsi so this would make a really cool um retro pepsi apron kind of thing so these are going to be some upcoming things that will be in my etsy shop so i want to kind of give you an idea what i got going on here so next i have the farm and i love this this wood in the back 
and it has the, the cows and the chickens and the pigs. And I also have some of this um, brown that kind of goes with it and it almost looks like leather, which is really cool. And maybe a, a hint of red in there because there is some red. I'm sorry, I can't hold these up very good. There is a hint of red in the in the rooster on the the farm animals. So these three fabrics really go together nicely. So they would make another really cool farmy apron. This next one, oh my gosh, this one's gonna be amazing. And this will probably be a full apron. I have this fabric. I got this at Walmart a couple years ago and it's black and it has these bumblebees on it. It's beautiful and there's a yard of this. So this will be a full apron. And then I was going through some of my fabrics and another fabric that my friend Lynn gave to me. Lynn, I love you for this. Um, this has a lot of different blocks on there, but I pulled out this block and I thought this would be great with that bee fabric because it says, be it ever so humble. Be it ever so humble. I thought that is so super sweet and it really would go great with the bee fabric. And I think that would make an awesome, an awesome apron. Hmm? So you're going to have to stay tuned to my Etsy store for some of this stuff. Cause I, th I've got a vision and I think, I think these are going to be really something, you know, I just, who wouldn't want to wear a beautiful apron, you know, while you're running around the house. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm obsessed. So here's another fabric, and this was given to me by my mom's friend. Um, I've always called her Granny Pat. She was a great lady. She is a great lady. She's still here. Um, she made me hats. She crocheted, and um, she's given me fabric. She's taught me a lot about sewing. Um, but this, this was some fabric that she had given to me, and it has these little ladies on here that are crocheting. And they have egg baskets and it's really farmy and really cute and it also has some coordinating fabrics that go with it um with the the yarn and there's some there's some milk bottles on here it says made with love happy cows 100 percent organic this they all go with this this ladies fabric so this would be really cute and here's another coordinating fabric that goes with it in the green a little bit of a different print but that's from the same family that will make a great apron. It'll be really fun and pretty. Um, I also have some of this green, and I think I pulled this out to go with that for maybe like a um, a tie, your your ties that you, you tie around your waist. You always need something to match to go with the ties. Um, this is some cool fabric. Now, this is from different places. I've got, hmm, what should I start with? All right, we'll start with the panels. This was the last panel that was at my local quilt store. And I fell in love with it because it has different pictures on it. And this would be really cute for a um, housework apron. And I would love one of these myself. You know, when you're doing your housework and you know, and you're, you're cleaning and doing stuff, you know, and just having something on. I mean, I just think it would be really fun to, you know, while you're doing your housework. But it's got these different um, pictures on it. Um, here's a cute one with chickens on it that has the washer and dryer, uh, laundry. What does that say? Laundry loads of fun. Sorry, I'm not very good, but I'm trying to give you the idea. And I love the, the retro irons on here and stuff. So I got these panels and these would make another great apron. And I have some of these clothespin fabric, which would be nice accents for the ties or a pocket, um, anything like that. And then when I was up to Rochester at my Aunt Sally's, I had picked up some fabric up there because she gave me a gift card um, for, what was it? She gave me a gift card, I think for my bridal shower. But I had to go up there and spend it in Rochester. So she took me to the specialty quilt shop and I found this cute little laundry fabric and it was on clearance and I just, it just caught my eye because I, I don't, when I buy fabric, I really don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I just, I get what speaks to me. So, and then I got a coordinating fabric that has all these little mini irons. So these are from different lines, but all four of these fabrics would look great together. I mean, the two, the two laundry ones are from the same line, but I had the clothespins is from this. I think the clothespins was from um, um, a fabric store. And of course the panels were from a fabric, a local fabric store near me. So I think all of these fabrics would really, 
would really make a cool chore apron for the house. And I'm definitely going to make one of those for me. So, and then I have some other ones here that um, would make great chore aprons. I bought these, I don't know if I bought these last year or the year before, but these are some more sayings and they're sewing sayings that came from my local fabric store. And I just love the different sayings on them, you know, measure twice, cut once, um, sewing is happiness, um, um, just take it one stitch at a time, keep calm and sew on. Um, there's one on here I love, get your dose of daily iron. That one would be really cute because I do have some of this ironing board fabric left. And I did do um, my portable ironing board out of this. And I also did my thread caster out of this because I just love it. The laundry baskets and the irons and stuff. So I think this would be a really cute chore apron as well. And I also have some of this um, pink clothespin with the different colors in it that would go great with that too to make a really cute chore apron. So these are just some ideas for some of the aprons. And I do have a few more things here, but I'm just not sure. I don't have any more colors to put with them, but I do have um, a couple yards of this um, dessert fabric, which would really make an awesome sweets apron while you're baking or something. And it's got lots of colors in it, like red and light blue and the browns and the whites, and it would, it would just be really um, something soft and pretty while you're baking. Um, here's another one that I've gotten from a quilt shop that I absolutely fell in love with. And this is um, the tossed coffee cups. And it almost looks like a batik. And I think you could actually throw some batiks in here and it would look beautiful. But this fabric has also got, I've also got the, the coffee panel. So I've wanted to make an apron out of this, but just haven't gotten around to it because uh, I have so many things that I want to do and I have no time to do it. But I'm going to make time this year. I've got a lot of things that I want to do. So there's some different panels that um, that come with that fabric. And I'm just going to show you a couple here that um, would really be great. These, these blocks would be great on the bib and then making a full apron out of the rest. And then I, there's so many colors to pull out of this. There is blues and greens and purples and, and this rust orange and browns. And I could really have some fun with this because I love to dig into my scrap bin and, you know, pull out different stuff and, you know, put little squares and I don't know, just I ruffles. Ruffles is another thing I love to put on aprons. I mean, just the ideas are endless and you could just take your scraps and just, you know, sew them together and they look amazing. So here's another one. The pears. I love this. And I don't want to give away my surprise and my next apron that I'm going to show you, but I'm going to tell you about those blocks later. But um, this would look great um, with the pears. And then I have um, some coordinating um, gray with the yellow and lighter gray and white dots and some more yellow that would make nice accents with this fabric. So something really cool. This fabric my mom had gotten for me. It's like a diner fabric, which is really cool. I would like to make a full apron out of this because I think I have a whole yard of it. And I also found this black check, which would look great with it because it's very restauranty, I think. And it would just be really fun to wear, you know, for a house apron or, you know, kitchen apron. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so, and then I have these apples. I love things with color. This has a lot of colors in it. You got your greens, your blues, your yellows, your teals. This is really pretty. I could do a lot with this. And then I also have the coordinating fabric that goes with it. That's this pink and it has these little apple slices in it. And this would just really make a cute half, half apron for something pretty. Um, some more coffee cups. I love coffee aprons because I'm a coffee fiend. <laughs> So, and I love coffee fabric. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. But um, these are just some of the things. And I've had these fabrics for a while and I'm thinking it's time to pull them out and get organized because I want to do a lot of aprons for my for my new shop. Um, I love being in the kitchen. And here is some more, um, this was one that I'd found that has recipes on it and different things. And I thought this just screamed apron at me. Really fun, lots of colors in here to pull out to really make it um, really interesting. So, and then last but not least, um, here's another kitchen fabric that has the mixers and the rolling pins, lots of color, 
to pull out. I mean, you could really make these interesting with lots of different, you know, pieces, scraps, whatever. So this is my idea and this is my color mix for aprons that um, I want to put together. And like I said, um, pulling fabrics together, it's not rocket science. It's just um, taking what you have and auditioning different colors together, you know, and you can really put together something beautiful. I mean, I love to play with my fabrics and I love to mix and match and I love to piece. So, and speaking of piecing, um, another thing that I want to put into my Etsy shop is doll blankets for little girls. This is a cute little doll blanket that I made totally out of my leftover cutoffs and scraps because I don't throw anything away because it's too pretty. And then when you put it together, you have like a kaleidoscope of colors and I just put in these little blocks and then I put this sweet little fabric on the back. So I want to kind of show you my idea for this little doll blanket is I have a little retro doll bed here and I'm going to show you how this is going to look on this little doll bed. Now this little doll bed's not finished but um, I'm going to make a little pillow for it and everything so you can kind of see this little bed. It's sweet and this would look really cute with a doll in it you know and to cover up your doll baby with a quilt don't you think? So what little girl wouldn't love a little homemade quilt for their doll? So I really want to do a lot of um, this sort of thing too. And this is going to be an upcoming thing because I have a lot of scraps and little pieces and I thought this is really cool. I can put it on my quilter and quilt it and, and really make something really sweet for a little girl. So that's just another another idea. So and so not another scrappy idea I want to share with you. Um, I made these sweet little chicken coasters and I made this set for Jim and I and I made my chickens the opposite way which so you can kind of see that, that their beaks are facing and I put these on our nightstand in our bedroom so when we have an, a drink you know in our, like a glass of water or a cup of coffee in the morning we can set our coffee cups on a little coaster so I made it and I did make a, a set for my mom and then I decided I kind of got obsessed so I made a couple more and these whimsical little colors of wings and these just take scraps and ribbons so this is something that's going to be up and coming that will be on my etsy shop too and if you're interested uh interested in something like this i would be happy to do a tutorial i love to see your comments um you know and what what you want to see i mean this is my creative outlet this is what i love so um i have some other things here that i could probably show you uh, these are some of the older things that i've done but um I've done little scrappy hearts and these are not, they're not pot holders, but they could be, but I don't have them lined for anything. So they'd be great if you want to set them on a table and put a dish on or something. I don't know. And then I did a pink one. This was just something that I was playing with a long time ago. So they're just absolutely heart shaped, but really cute for Valentine's Day. So I figured I'd show you those real quick. Um, this is a table runner. Table runners would be another fun thing. And you can see this is totally scrappy out of scrappy strips that match the, the colorful fish. I just pulled out all the colors of the fish. And um, this was quilted. This was quilted on my old quilter. I've had this for quite some time. But these are just some things that you can, you know, you can put together or you could check out my Etsy shop and um, you can purchase some of these items. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put these things on there or not. If I have any interest, I have some, these are pot holders. They are Penn State. They were made out of some scraps that my mom's friend had given me. And these are some things that I've had in a craft fair and I've just had them stored. So I might throw them on my Etsy shop. Um, I also have made lanyards. This one is a Penn State lanyard uh, with a little clip on it. Slips around your neck. Um, also my coffee cup change purses. This is, this is an idea that I'd come up with and I have a tutorial on this. So if you look through my videos, you can see my coffee cup change purse. This one, um, was something that I experimented with, um, a couple of years ago. It is just an owl. If I can hold it up here. It's an owl change purse and it has a little zipper on the side. And these are fully lined. As you can see, it's lined inside. Um, and I just put some little eyes on it and and um, the little flower on its head and just, you know, made something whimsical just out of scraps. Also, I've made, these are just plain Jane compared to the other ones that I've done. These are um, wraps for your coffee cups. Like if you have a to-go cup or a paper cup, 
it would wrap around your cup and then it would button on the side and this one says java and i've made several of these i have some really fancier ones that i have for my coffee cups um, i've also done a john deere one with a cute little button on it and the bands here are just hair ties that are sewed into the seam so when you wrap it around your cup you just um, elastic it onto the button and it makes a nice little um, protector for your hands when you have a thin cup that you know like a paper cup or a plastic cup and it's hot it'll keep your hand cool so you don't burn it so here's another scrappy idea that I put together this was just made out of some scraps that I had um, just kind of put it together and then I did this cute little heart shaped block on the back with the panties and it has a zipper and this is fully lined and I will show you the inside and it's just lined with um it's like a newspaper print kind of liner fabric in it but this was just something really fun that I threw together and it makes a cute little bag you could put your makeup in here or you know toiletries or whatever you know for travel it's really fun um this is something that me and my sister did for a craft fair last year. And these are sunglasses cases or eyeglass cases. And what we did was we just really made them the front puffy and fun out of just some fabric squares. And then the inside um, has a fleece lining. So it's really soft and it protects your lenses. And these are great to put in your purse. I had one of these and I keep my sunglasses in it so my glasses don't get scratched and whatever. And of course, I, I'm pretty sure you all seen my video of my tutorial that well some of you have <laughs> but I did a tutorial on the notebook covers and these are fabric and you uh, slip them onto a comp composition book and mine I did really scrappy with all the things that I loved I just fussy cut out little pieces of stuff um, off different fabrics and applique them on here well I have one here that um, I had some fabric that I had um, it was Mustangs and I love Mustangs so I did a Mustang composition book cover which is fun and I might throw that on my Etsy shop. I mean, just, I don't know if anybody's interested in stuff like that. I mean, these things I've, I've made a little while ago, like I said, for a craft fair, I did these little towels. These are appliqued. This was a goat. And I, of course I put the little wiggly eyes on it and I did a little pig applique on the towel. So these are just some of the fun things that you might find on my store. Um, like I said, I haven't gotten anything, only one thing on there, but I'm, I'm going to work on that. So just give me some time. Um, also did some baby bibs. These were just made out of scrap squares with a, with a little, um, almost like a mother goose kind of thing or a Peter rabbit in the middle. Um, I did a green one and they're, they're flannel on the back. These aren't perfect. Um, these are some things that, you know, like I said, I just threw them together. So there's a set of four here, but they're really cute for, you know, an infant and very soft. Um, so there's a pink one and I don't know if the, the ties are very long on these, but I don't know if you don't want to tie anything too tight on the baby's neck, but there's a blue one. So this is just a set of four that, um, I might throw these on my Etsy shop. I'm not sure. Sometimes I'm, you know, I doubt myself if I'm that good, but, um, I do have a lot of other ideas that I do want to put on my shop and I did make a list. Um, I do want to do my aprons, zip pouches, doll quilts, doll pillowcases, um, like for the doll bed. I want to do a matching pillow maybe with the quilts. Um, another thing, I haven't explained this, but I'm, I'm dabbling in making the cloth dolls. I made one of these last year for a craft fair and I put it in a, um, it was a backpack um, carrier, like a, the drawstring backpack. And I put a doll seat on it and I made a little doll um, and put it in the doll seat for like a little girl to put her doll in. And I made one for the craft fair with a scrappy little doll. And it was one of my first things that sold. And I was really surprised. But it was really super cute and really sweet. And the doll was very simple. And I had some old vintage clothes that I put on it. And I just put it in the doll seat with a little, the little um, drawstring bag. And um, a, a lady bought it. And I'm sure she probably bought it for her grandchild or something. But it was, it was really cute. And I wish I would have took a picture of it. But I would like to, to try those again, too. So um, that about does it, I think, for my my um, ideas for how to mix and match your fabrics and um, really make something beautiful. So I hope you, I, you enjoyed my video, and I hope I entertained you somewhat. So stay tuned. Um, I'm going to get my next video up on how I do the, the simple uh, half, the half um, apron 
that I showed you with the with the whimsical chickens on it. I'm going to show you how to put this together. It's super simple. So if you're interested in an eight, a half apron, um, stick around on my channel and I will get to it and show you how that's done. And, and we'll get some more up if, um, if you're interested. I'd like to do some full aprons as well. So let me know your thoughts. Um, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.